If you're a small landlord in Oklahoma or a tenant about to sign a lease for a property in the state, it's essential to understand Oklahoma's rental laws. Knowing the rental laws will help you avoid disputes and save both time and money. We're eForms, the world's largest online database of fillable legal forms. In this video, we'll explain Oklahoma's rental laws, including the kinds of leases offered in the state, rules for security deposits, including what tenants need to do to reclaim theirs, and how to pursue an eviction. And if you want a lease agreement that satisfies the laws of Oklahoma and is also customized to a particular property, you can create one with prompts for each step by clicking the link at the end of this video. Oklahoma honors many different types of leases, including those for industrial and commercial property. While the content of this video is focused on residential property and all types of rentals, the lease agreement is the most important document. For residential property, most leases in Oklahoma can begin as standard leases, in which the landlord agrees to lease a property to a tenant for one year. Most standard leases contain a clause that at the conclusion of the year, the lease automatically converts into a month-to-month -month lease, which either party can end simply by giving the required amount of notice. Oklahoma law states that the minimum notice for a month-to-month -month lease is 30 days. When it comes to security deposits, Oklahoma law does not set a maximum amount. It does, however, provide some important considerations for returning the deposits. In order for a tenant to get back a security deposit or whatever portion has not been consumed in making repairs to the property, the tenant must provide to the landlord a written demand for the deposit within six months of the end of the tenancy. Otherwise, the landlord is under no obligation to return it. Once the demand has been made and the landlord has possession of the property, the deposit, if any, must be returned to the tenant within 45 days. If a tenant leaves personal property like a small appliance behind after leaving the property, Oklahoma imposes requirements for the landlord. Landlord should alert the tenant, arrange a time for the tenant to collect the property, and store it for a reasonable time so that the tenant can collect it. Landlords can charge the tenant for the cost of storing the property, but are also liable for any damage if it occurs. Another key area where Oklahoma's landlord-tenant law comes into play is evictions. Evictions occur when the tenant has violated the terms of a lease agreement in some way, and the first step in the eviction process is to issue a notice to quit, which gives the tenant a certain amount of time to correct the violation or leave the premises. If the issue is that the tenant is a threat to safety or property, then the landlord may issue an immediate notice, which states that the tenant should leave the property as soon as possible and provides no opportunity to fix the problem. If the issue is failure to pay rent, the tenant has five days to pay what is owed. For all other issues, the tenant has 10 days to address the problem or 15 days to move out without addressing the problem. The notice must be served on the tenant in person or by certified mail. If the tenant disputes the claim of a lease violation, the tenant can respond to the notice and begin a court proceeding. If the tenant doesn't respond in time, then the landlord can begin what's known as a forcible detainer action to remove the tenant. For more information about Oklahoma's laws, check the link in the video description or subscribe to find videos about other related topics.